Chris with Mimi's Country Cooking and today I'm back in the kitchen. I'm going to be baking a butternut cake and if you looked at some of my other videos you saw a couple of months ago I did one that was a butter pecan or butter pecan cake that's really good but this is a butternut and uh, it's similar. We're going to start out with a basic one, two, uh, three, four cake recipe and that is three cups of self-rising flour um, two cups of sugar, four large eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of chopped nuts, and I've already uh, got two sticks of butter that was softened, uh, and I've already creamed that for about five or six minutes. Okay, so now we're going to be adding our eggs uh, one at a time. We're gonna beat well after each addition. you've added your eggs and you've got those beaten well then you'll add your two cups of sugar so now we'll be adding three cups of self-rising flour with a cup one cup of milk and we're going to begin with flour and end with flour Now we'll add three tablespoons of um, the butter and nut flavoring. I could not find this in the grocery stores around here, so I had to order it off of Amazon. Uh, this is Happy Home. There's a couple of different brands, but we're going to add three tablespoons of that to our cake batter. On our one cup of nuts, you just want to stir those in. So now we're going to pour it up into our three sprayed um, cake pans, and I already have my oven preheated to 350, and we'll be baking it for 30 to 35 minutes. Now it's time to put them in the oven and again we'll be baking them for 30 to 35 minutes. Now that our cakes are out and they're still cooling, we're going to go ahead and make the icing and it's a cream cheese icing. So we have uh, four cups of powdered sugar, uh, one block of softened cream cheese, one stick of softened butter, and then we're going to have one teaspoon of the butter and nut flavoring and a half a cup of chopped pecans. So we'll go ahead and cream our cream cheese and our butter. So we will start adding our four cups of powdered sugar and I like to take a little whisk and make sure there's no lumps in there. Just whisk it around a little bit. I'm going to gradually add in my powdered sugar and I do have a fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream that I like to add, it just gives it a little more flavor and it's a little creamier. Time to add our teaspoon full of the butter and nut flavoring. This is a half a cup of chopped nuts. You can leave them whole and just lay them on top of the cake, but I'm gonna put it in the icing. So now that we have our first layer down, I'm putting the second one on top. And we're going to ice it. Now 
Now for our top layer. Okay, you can see this makes a big cake. You can double the recipe, and I did go back and um, add a little more cream cheese and powdered sugar because we like a lot of icing. My grandmother would add a little yellow food coloring, so you can do that too. The flavoring colors it a little bit, but especially if you're saving it for Easter, um, put a little more yellow food coloring in it and it make it real pretty and bright. All right, so let's give this a taste. And you can see it makes a big cake, so that's the reason I like to make a little more frosting. That's really good. You can taste the uh, butter, and it's real creamy, and you can smell the flavoring in it. Uh, so be sure and give it a try, and thank you so much for watching, and remember to find something you enjoy doing and do it a lot. So until next time, goodbye.